Hi, I'm Matthew Jager with Satellite Industries, and today I'm going to walk you through the startup and maintenance of our MD400 slide-in. All right, let's get started. On this side of our slide-in, we have our battery, our Honda engine, and our FlowJet switch. Before we start anything, we always want to go through and make sure that our engine has oil, that our gas is on, and then we have the key in the on position. Now, the choke should be preset. And we want to make sure that the gas is turned back on because in between uses, we always want to turn it off to prevent flooding. And then you just simply turn your key. On this side of our slide-in, we have our Condi pump, our flow jet, our secondary valve, and our exhaust valve. Now, before we start anything, we always want to make sure that our oil is in the middle of the sight glass for our Condi pump. And if it isn't, we want to add 5W30 to this reservoir. You can simply unscrew this cap and pour it in. Located right here, we have our pressure gauge, and this is our pressure valve. When our pressure valve is in this position, it is in the vacuum position. When we push it in, it is in our pressure position. Always make sure that you leave it in the vacuum position when not in use. Twice a year, you're going to want to disconnect these hoses. Take a 20-ounce bottle and fill it with diesel. Take one of these hoses and put it inside that bottle, start up your pump, and let it siphon all of that diesel through. What that will do is it will clean out the pump, any buildup in there, and make sure this thing lasts a long time. With our secondary valves and our exhaust valves, every day you're going to want to open each of these valves up. And make sure that all the pressure is out. Located here is our flow jet. To hook it up, we just simply take the male end of our hose, stick it in, and lock it in place. Make sure that our fresh water valve in the back is turned on, and flip the switch on the other side, and you're good to go. If you use the flow jet a lot, you're going to want to make sure that the battery is hooked up to a charge wire to prevent any drainage on the battery. Down here we have our dump and our fresh water fill. Before we empty the tank, we're going to remove the cap, connect our dump hose, and open the valve. Now you're going to want to make sure that your Condi pump is in either neutral or pressure mode before you start the engine. Start the engine, empty the tank, turn the engine off, you can either leave it in pressure mode or put it in neutral, close the valve, take your hose off, and put your cap back on. And you're good to go. Once a month, you're going to want to open up your primary, and your secondary valves and rinse them out. When you do so, you also want to make sure that this yellow valve is open to allow any drainage of any buildup and fluid out. When you're done, it you simply closes it up. And get back to work. Now let's go over the winterization of the MD400. There's a few things that we need to do first. Before we get started, we want to make sure that our fresh and our gray water tanks are both empty. Once they're empty, we're going to take this cap off. We're going to fire up the engine and let the pump run for about five to 10 minutes. And what that is going to do is it's going to cycle oil through the pump, cleaning it out, getting rid of any water and debris that may be built up in there. When we're done with that, we can replace our cap, lock it down, and simply walk around and open up all of our valves about a quarter turn. We want to make sure that we get our dumps, our grays, our fresh water, our exhaust, and the fresh water in the back. When we're done with that, we've got one more step to do. We're going to come down here, and on our flow jet, we're going to unhook the filter and just let it hang like that. And that is how you start up, maintain, and winterize the MD400. For further questions, please contact us at 1-800-883-1123 or satelliteindustries.com. Thank you.